And now to an electronic immigrant who ought to be illegal, but apparently isn't. You can find him doing his stuff at 3 a.m. on Channel 9. God has used Reverend Peter Popov throughout his entire life and ministry to bring miraculous deliverance to hundreds of thousands of people around the world. It's not clear, and the Nine Network wouldn't tell us, whether Peter Popoff is paying to have his half-hour message aired. But whether he is or he isn't, it's clearly an exercise in spruiking a product. Miracle Spring Water. We're going to share the Miracle Spring Water with you. And I'm going to tell you how a Russian pastor found the Miracle Spring Water, not on his own, but through divine leading and direction. And God miraculously spared, prospered, delivered him. And God wants to do the same for you as you use the Miracle Spring Water. And as you can see, this Miracle Water is absolutely free. Which is clever of the Reverend Popoff, because if he was selling you the Miracle Water, which he says has the power to transform your life, he'd be engaging in trade or commerce. And under the Trade Practices Act, a person or corporation must not, in trade or commerce, engage in conduct that is liable to mislead the public about the nature of any services. Peter Popoff has form. Back in the early 80s, he was a celebrated faith healer who miraculously knew the names and addresses of individuals scattered through his congregation. 1627 10th Street. Is that right? That's right. And without asking, he knew their ailments too. Burning this arthritis right out of your body. Take a few steps just to make the devil mad. Hallelujah. But thanks to the detective work of an American skeptic called James Randi, the hoax was exposed on camera. Jody Dean. Jody. Jody. Dean. Jody Dean. No, she should be right there on your right side. Okay, she moves at 4267 Masterson. 4267 Masterson. I can see the angels of God all around your house. The female voice was that of Peter Popoff's wife, Elizabeth, prompting him via a wireless earpiece from information she'd garnered before the service. Shortly after that was aired on national television, Popoff filed for bankruptcy. But for the last decade, he and Elizabeth have been back in the game. According to tax returns, Popoff's ministry took in more than $23 million in 2005. In February 2007, reporter Matt Maher of the US TV program Inside Edition described how Popoff made his money. Our miracle water came with what Popoff calls a bag of sacred Dead Sea salt. I'm supposed to sprinkle it over a check made out to Popoff for $27. As for the miracle water, I'm supposed to drink it, wait five days, and I'll be blessed with riches. Of course, I'm supposed to send Popoff another check. And once the demand started, they didn't stop. As Peter Popoff knows, the world is full of desperate and gullible people. The Western Australian Department of Commerce runs a website called ScamNet. It pulls no punches about Peter Popoff. There is nothing more evil than using people's faith to line your own pockets. In the UK, the Advertising Standards Authority banned Popoff's infomercials two years ago. But in Australia, so far, the regulators have done nothing. Perhaps because it's not clear which regulator should act. If Popoff is paying nine, it's an advertisement and should comply with the Australian Advertiser's Code of Ethics, which says, Advertising or marketing communications shall not be misleading or deceptive or be likely to mislead or deceive. If Popoff isn't paying nine, but just giving this guff to the network for free, it becomes a program. In fact, nine has the gall to refer to it as, Peter Popoff. Religious program. Religious program? I prefer what ScamNet calls it. A uh, psychic scam. We know of one Australian network that's refused to put Peter Popoff to air. But Nine apparently has no such qualms.